Hey everybody, it's Katie and I'm here with my, and I swear to this, my very last book haul for probably many, 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 many months. Um, I went a little overboard in buying books this month and now I have to read all of them. I have actually had my husband put me on a book buying ban. I know I said I put myself on a book buying ban before, but now my husband's holding me accountable. I got 23 new books this month, which is great. But it's 23 new books. I don't need 23 new books, but I got them. I got a shipment in from Book Outlets. That place is my kryptonite. I can't help myself, so I'm just not going on the website anymore for a while. And my new place I found, I actually went to Ollie's. I don't know if anyone else has ever been to Ollie's, but Ollie's has books and good books for really inexpensive prices. To the point where I stood in Ollie's for about 10 minutes arguing with myself about buying a complete series because it all of the covers matched and I thought about getting them. I have only read the first book and I hated it. I hated the first book, but I yet I still stood in Ollie's for 10 minutes arguing with myself that I didn't need it because I didn't like the first book and if I want to read the rest of the series, I can get them out of the library. I didn't like them. Why would I buy them? Because they matched? Yes. Because the covers were pretty? Okay. But I didn't like the book. So I put them back. <laughs> I did maintain, I did hold myself accountable in that sense and didn't buy those. But I did buy eight other books at Ollie's. So, alright, well, since I'm talking about Ollie's, I'll show you the books that I got there. So the first book I got is A Temptation of Angels by Michelle Zink. This is a book about a girl named Helen whose whole family is killed in a terrible fire and she is the only one that es escapes and she vows to find out who was responsible and make them pay. So this seemed pretty interesting. The cover was really pretty. Um, the binding is, you know, just kind of plain. But this book was, I think, like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine, something ridiculously inexpensive for a nice hardback book. So I picked this up. So the next book I got is actually the first book in at least a duology, if not a series, um, and this is Shattered Souls by Mary Lindsay. This is about a girl who can speak to the dead. I don't have any books like this, so I thought this cover was just absolutely gorgeous. Her dress is made out of flowers. I'm not sure if you can see that. Super pretty. This book was a dollar ninety nine. How can you pass that up? It's a nice hardback covered book. So I picked this up. So I thought this one was super pretty. So at Ollie's. The next book that I got at Ollie's was Anna and the French Kiss. And this is the old cover, but I really like it. This is by Stephanie Perkins, and I got this for, I think, $2.99 or something like that. So if you're looking for cheap books, go check out Ollie's, because this is a nice hardback covered book. And I love the purple of the cover. Purple is my favorite, and I love the, the lettering on the spine. So, so I picked up Anna and the French Kiss. I also picked up... The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I have not finished the Immortal Instruments series, but you guys have all been raving about Will Herringdale, and I have not read any of them. So I found this, and it was in really good shape. The um, didn't seem like it would have any rips or anything, so I picked this up as well. So I got the four hardback books from Ollie's, and then I also got four paperbacks. Um, two John Green books, so I got Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and Paper Towns. So both of these are John Green books, so I'm looking forward to reading these. I just finished uh, A Fault in Our Stars last month and really enjoyed it, so I wanted to read a few more of his books and found these two, so I picked these up. The last two books that I got from Ollie's are both Sarah Dessen books. So I got That Summer and Someone Like You. So these are both little contemporary novels, romancy contemporary young adult books. So I picked these up. So this is my little pile from Ollie's. 
not sure if you know this, but Goodreads has an entire giveaway section. So I was on there and I have put my name in for a ton and ton and ton of the giveaways. But I actually won one of them, which is super exciting. So they sent me a book. I got Forgotten Sins by Rebecca Zanidi. Zanidi, I think this is. So this is... This is by the Hatchet Book Group. So I picked this up, so I'm gonna have to read this book. It's a nice little sized um, book, so yeah. So now on to my very last book outlet order for quite a long time. So I had books two and three of the Dark Guardian um, series, and I bought um, Moonlight, which is book one, and Shadow of the Moon, which is book four. So now I have the complete series and I can just marathon this whole thing. So I pick these two up. I've actually, I actually already own a bind up of the first two books of the Shadow Falls series by C.C. Hunter. So I picked up the next three books. So we've got Taken at Dusk, got Whispers at Moonrise, and Chosen at Nightfall. So I bought these three. So these finish out that series. So now I can marathon that whole series as well. I like marathoning series because I always want the next book once I finish. If I really like the series, I always want the next one before I even finish the first one. I just picked up the next two books in the Watcher series by Veronica Wolf. So we've got Blood Fever and Vampire's Kiss. So I already have the first book, which is Isle of Night, that I need to read, but now I have these two as well. I picked up book two in the Full Moon series. So this is Magic of the Moonlight, and this is by Elaine Schreiber. So I picked this one. I also picked up book two in the Sweet Evil series by Wendy Higgins. So this is Sweet Peril. I did a book review of Sweet Evil um, and talked about the fact that I had this one, but I haven't read this one. I think this is going to be on my March TBR. Then I picked up two books in a trilogy by Amy Plum. I got Until I Die and Die For Me. These covers are both really pretty. And then there is a third book, which I did not pick up yet. Next book that I got is the first book in a, another series. This is by Leah Fallon, and it is Carrier of the Mark. Um, this I know there is one more book that's out already and then the third book is coming out um i think this year sometime um, but i don't know i don't know if it's trilogy or if there will be more after that but i know there is at least three so the last two books i picked up are standalones i got entwined by heather dixon and the very last book that i got um is the Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore. And this book is actually, and this one's actually autographed, which I thought was kind of cool that I was able to pick that up. So I picked up that. So those are all the books that I purchased. I will not be purchasing any more books. If there are the books that I want to read, I will have to get them at the library because I'm not allowed to buy any more. My list of books I want to buy is still getting much bigger, but I'm not going to purchase any more books for quite some time. So, let me know if you've read any of the books that I showed you, which books I should read next, which books um, I can put on the back burner to read, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I will leave all the links in the box below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!